You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Vegeta, the Prince of all Saiyans. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me. Or else you'll be Hakai. Not Beerus. You know how this works. Make sure you enable all notifications on the channel and watch the entire video all the way through. And don't forget to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. That's enough! On with the video. So with Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 90 now scheduled to be released in just about three days, we now finally have additional information, spoilers, leaks, and images in regards to what is about to transpire moving forward after the prequel arc, as it would only now appear as though Toyotaro plans on actually adapting the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie in the form of the manga. The million dollar question now moving forward is will the manga adaptation of Dragon Ball Super superhero be very different compared to the movie, or are we bound to see a quick superhero? arc transition before finally getting into the events of what happened with Black Frieza. As a quick little reminder before we dive deeper into this video, if you just so happen to be new to this channel and want to be kept up to date with everything in regards to both the Dragon Ball Super manga and any and all things involving the Dragon Ball IP, then I do encourage you all to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon so that way you can always be up to date and notified as to whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel. On top of supporting this channel by giving this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below if you guys simply cannot wait and are excited to see what's about to unfold as Dragon Ball Super continues because, as courtesy of both DBS Hype, DBS Chronicles, and Herms98 on Twitter, the following Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 90 spoilers, leaks, and images goes as follows. Now, as of course you guys can see here on your screen, it would now finally appear as though Dr. Hito is going to not only go as far as to confront both Goten and Trunks, but also he now finally manages to land himself in prison courtesy of his actions in having to go against our hero to which interestingly enough it looks as though in the manga Dr. Hito isn't really going to spend that much time behind bars as the events that have now landed Dr. Hito in this said position happen to have taken place during a party because as of course you guys can see Trunks was now finally able to get Mai and convince her in going to this party with him of course he also mentions that not only will his superhero idol clean god be attending this party but Trunks and Mai aren't going to be the only ones that are going to be attending this party because unbeknownst to Trunks as of course you guys can see, Dr. Hito actually learns about the fact that his superhero idol, Clean God, is also going to be at this event as well. So coincidentally, at the same time, without having to either know each other or even acknowledge each other, both Trunks and Dr. Hito are now coincidentally attending the exact same party at the exact same time now side by side, to where a little later on, what Dr. Hito ends up actually unleashing upon every single individual at this party is, as of course you guys can see, yes, this in fact is a gigantic dinosaur, but it's not not just any ordinary living breathing dinosaur but in fact this is actually an android dinosaur created by Dr. Hito and what Dr. Hito hopes to accomplish here isn't really having to retrieve the confidential disc that was taken by Trunks of course that had not only all of the information and blueprints by Dr. Jiro in creating Cell but Dr. Hito simply wants to go about by destroying Goten and Trunks by any means necessary given the fact that towards the end of the chapter it looks as though Dr. Hito doesn't even care about the confidential disc anymore more only because he now has the information embedded within his brain to which now we're going to go on ahead and get into all of the explicit details on what is about to transpire moving forward in Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 90 as the summary spoilers go off to read showdown with Dr. Hito the chapter opens with Officer Krillin asking one of the district citizens if they knew about which convenience store the zombies had worked in to which one of the civilians points at a nearby store as Krillin visits the store inside and asks about the zombies he only then comes face to face with those very zombies that he was looking for as just then, Krillin notices Mai in the store and gets distracted. Seeing this as a chance, the zombie trio tries to run away, but Officer Krillin stops them at gunpoint and arrests them. Meanwhile, we then see Goten on the Flying Nimbus Cloud on his way to school. As he gets off the Flying Nimbus to cover the remaining distance by bus, to which as he goes inside, Chalk ends up waiting for Goten as they both then later have a conversation on the bus until a student that goes by the name of Fela asks Goten about if he's on good terms with Trunks since Trunks is a year older than him, with Goten explaining 
explaining that him and Trunks basically grew up together, so indeed he knows Trunks very well, to which Fela then goes on to request Goten to convince Trunks to ask her out on the dance party this weekend, to where all of a sudden during this conversation, the bus that they were riding on suddenly then stops, as Dr. Hito's beta number 7 stands in front of the bus and then proceeds to enter it and calling out the great Saiyan man aka Goten, with Goten's friend Chalk also noting that a lot of people have been after Goten recently, so Chalk opens the window and helps Goten escape from the back of the bus as Goten runs into the alley and uses his new wristwatch to transform into Saiyan Man X2. To which from that point, Saiyan Man X2 starts fighting against Beta Number 7, as all of the other classmates watching then note how the Saiyan Man always seem to appear when Goten disappears along with Trunks, to where as X2 ends up defeating Beta Number 7, when then going back to Blue Hall High School, Scale actually sells invites to the dance party, to which Trunks comes walking on by with Scale telling him that Clean God himself will be showing up at the party. So, Mai then ends up joining into the conversation as she notices something and then asks Trunks if he wants to join her to the party as Trunks of course says yes. Then, we see Mai looking at a spy bee that's flying nearby as of course this spy bee could be interpreted as being Hachimaru from the superhero movie. As the bee now goes as far as to intercept and listen to the entire conversation, Dr. Hito himself ends up getting very excited upon hearing that Clean God himself would actually be at this party. So, Dr. Hito from there actually decides to drop the mission in finding Dr. Jiro's disc and instead now decides that in fact he will be going to this upcoming party, with Alpha 12 noting that you're only allowed entry if you're able to go with a female student, as back in school Trunks ends up telling Goten that he's happy that he didn't have to reveal his Saiyan identity to Mai, as things are now beginning to go smoothly with her, Trunks then ends up leaving Goten as he needs to buy some clothes for this party, which is why he inevitably also turned down Goten's offer to play video games as well, to which from there Goten begins to wonder to himself as to what kind of answer he's going to give to Fela. Mai then suddenly ends up pulling Goten into a corner as she sees the spy be near him, with Mai then informing Goten that in fact they're being watched. To where not only does Mai suspect that the bee is listening into their conversation, but she also suspects that more androids are watching and listening in, with Goten then having to realize how they knew where Goten was and sent their androids after him, i.e. the bus, as Mai now begins to remember Beta 1's words that he said that he was made by Dr. Hito, so, to which as soon as Mai ends up looking up who Dr. Hito is, and now discovering that in fact he is someone that is responsible in making androids, since nobody from that point knows where Dr. Hito's real hideout is, Mai had decided to lure him in by mentioning that Clean God will be attending this dance party, knowing the fact that Dr. Hito is a big fan of him, as Goten is shocked to hear that all of this was a part of Mai's plan to begin with in setting this party up by bringing Clean God there, to which on the day of the actual dance party, Goten ends up arriving with Fei with both Trunks and Mai also arriving at the same time, Trunks then ends up depositing the big disc bag to the staff and asks them to keep it safe for him, as all eyes seem to be on Mai as she's wearing battle armor instead of a traditional dress, as Trunks then asks Mai to come with him to the first row to watch Clean God's appearance on stage, but Mai says that she wants to watch it from the position that she's in, as Goten then ends up asking Mai if Hito would really show up there, with Mai being very sure of it, unbeknownst to Trunks then as he ends up walking towards the first row, he actually ends up standing side by side with Dr. Hito, with the two then unexpectedly making a conversation in noting how big of a fan they are of Clean God, with Hito also now noting that he wants to show him his new limited edition t-shirt that he has, with Mai then quickly having to pick up and noticing the fact that Hito was indeed with Trunks unbeknownst to both of them, she then tells Trunks to get away from him as she points a gun directly at Hito, but Beta number 1 ends up stopping her from firing the gun directly at Hito, with Beta of course being at this party with none other than Rula, just then all of a sudden the police then ends up raiding this party as Krillin goes on to comment, Dr. Hito, you are now under arrest for stealing bodies from the morgue, but Dr. Hito does not want to go into jail quietly. With Krillin deciding to go after Hito alone, his team ends up searching the hideout with Trunks asking Mai if she did all of this just to simply catch Hito, to which Mai then ends up responding yes, with Trunks then asking her as to why she didn't tell him about this before, with Mai then having to mention that Bulma wanted to keep her eye on Trunks, so to further avoid conflict, she didn't want to see Trunks actually get himself involved in a physical fight, so Mai regardless from there tells Trunks to become Saiyan Man X1 and go and recover the disc from Hito, with Trunks now being shown shocked at the fact that Mai had orchestrated this entire thing from the beginning, Trunks then ends up promising Mai to catch Hito and become the strongest and coolest superhero just for her, as just then both Trunks and Goten end up catching up with Krillin who is after Hito as well, as Krillin goes on to then tell them that he in fact is Dr. Jiro's grandson, and so that 
Rapido had used the androids to work part-time at a convenience store just to simply gather research to fund himself, Trunks then upon having to hear this then remembers in fact that Dr. Giro was the one responsible in creating Cell, it was just then where Hito ends up reaching his hideout with both Saiyaman X1, X2, and Krillin also arriving, Dr. Hito from then notes that he has no other choice but then to activate the not yet completed artificial dinosaur, artificial dinosaur known as number one, with artificial dinosaur number one grabbing Saiyaman X2 and slapping away X1, Krillin attempts to punch the dinosaur but the dinosaur ends up firing a beam at Krillin, with Krillin having to dodge it as the dinosaur destroys the entire laboratory by firing multiple beams all over the place, Dr. Hito ends up becoming very worried as the dinosaur ends up grabbing X1 by his paws and slamming him down onto the ground, Krillin starts attacking all over the dinosaur's body just to simply find a weak point as he ends up finding out that the weak point behind this artificial dinosaur is none other than the back of its neck, with Krillin from there launching a destructo disc in which as the destructo disc made contact, the dinosaur from there was unable to move and now giving Goten and Trunks the opportunity that they needed in order to finally destroy the dinosaur once and for all in which they ended up doing by using a move called the double hurricane attack by making a hole through the dinosaur's body, Dr. Hito then begins to get worried as he does not want to see his dinosaur be destroyed. After finally being shown defeating his artificial dinosaur, Krillin ends up cuffing Dr. Hito and finally makes the big arrest by also taking away the disc that Dr. Hito had retrieved, to which as they only end up opening it up to find that there is in fact no disc there, the only item that remained in the backpack upon having to open it was in fact an autograph that featured both Hito and Clean God, with Krillin then going as far as to ask as to what happened to the disc, with Hito responding that in fact this was a pain in his butt so he ended up destroying the disc entirely and that he really doesn't need it anymore given the fact that the data is now stored in his brain, however, Dr. Hito later notes that he is interested in Dr. Zero's research and that he just would have happened to keep the disc just in case it was of perfect size to get an autograph from, so a little later on Goten finds the destroyed disc and so Dr. Hito and all of his androids were later arrested at the request of the zombies families, their sentences were reduced as they simply wanted them to come back home after the fact, so the only crime that Hito was in fact charged for was to steal the corpses from the morgue, to which led on to reduce his sentence to a mere 3 months in jail, in which by the end Hito does intend to continue his research from the prison remotely, as he later launches Hachimaru which is a much better version of his original spy bee used in Blue Hall High School, with the chapter having to come to a close as Hito makes a vow that one day he will in fact create the strongest androids in the world. So, to which I want to go on ahead now and get your thoughts down in the comment section below, not only about how you guys personally feel about this upcoming manga chapter, but knowing the fact that now it seems as though Toyotaro is going to be adapting all of the fights involving the Gammas, possibly even Orange Piccolo, and Beast Gohan versus Cell Max, to which interestingly, we haven't seen this be done before outside of probably Battle of Gods, in which not only did Toyotaro go as far as to skip over Resurrection F and and even Dragon Ball Super Broly, but it would now seem as though the upcoming manga chapter is going to be centered around Piccolo discovering the Red Ribbon Army and trying to do everything within his own ability to stop them just like we've seen go down in the film. So again, I want to go in ahead and get your thoughts on how you guys personally feel about this movie having to be adapted through the form of the manga. So again, you guys don't want to miss out on everything that's about to transpire in this upcoming manga chapter on February 20th. So again, thank you all so much for watching to where if you guys are excited and cannot wait to see how everything is going to unfold, possibly even differently compared to the movie, then I do encourage you guys to give this video a big fat thumbs up right now by smashing that like button down below if you guys are also new to the channel. Then I also encourage you all to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that way you guys never miss a single video that is posted onto the channel. Tune back in for more. Thank you all so much for once again being here. And with that being said, I'm going to be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, everybody, and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.